Howdy, everybody. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country. I'm doing a gift request today. It's been a minute since I've done, I don't even know what I've done by Jennifer. Now, early in the channel when I was doing Nashville Country, I did Stuck Like Glue. I still love that song. And I have a minor, more than minor, medium to high crush on Jennifer Nettles herself. I love her personality. Uh, in any case, Penny Headland made a gift to the channel for me to do, and this is in honor of Thanksgiving coming up. So this is like Thanksgiving week for Penny in terms of songs. Four days in a row, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thanksgiving Thursday. Every day I've got a song uh, that Penny made a gift to the channel for me to do. And this one is Thank You by Jennifer. I don't think I know this song. I know some of Jennifer's and Sugarland's, you know, she's in the, the duo of Sugarland, but I don't think I know this. I'll find out. Here we go. Don't recognize it yet. Have I? talking to or about have I ever shown you all my heart for all I owe you where would I start said her mother a lifetime to count the ways wouldn't be to say I thought that you should know how much you've helped me grow and I want to thank you I want to tell you this for all of your selflessness thank you her parents both or her mom. I wanna say I love you and if we never meet again you should know you have changed my life Perfect. just by being a friend oh. the suspense is killing me that doesn't usually happen. Could I ever repay you for all you've done? Out of all my blessings. You're the greatest one And I thought that you should know How much you helped me Thank you. Thank 
this is written about an X. Yeah, it's there's a one there's a one lyric in there that says, "Should we ever meet again or see each other again?" And I know like the song. What was the one where she's crying hardcore? Stay. That was the name of it, and that was about a breakup. This strikes me as because I can relate to this. Like I've had those thoughts too about my ex, and it's like, well, if you know, a divorce. I know this not only from life coaching, I know it from experience, just from life, but certainly in life coaching where someone's going through a divorce or thinking about getting divorced. And some folks are more measured where they know they contributed to the breakup, but others just turn to anger and want to completely bash the other person. And part of what I do is to try to help people see like a sense of balance to the, however, whatever balance is warranted. Because some former spouses are just jackasses and that's just, you warrant negative thoughts about them and anger and all that stuff. But there's a reason you fell for people, you know, for the other person. And there were likable things about them. There were lovable things about them. And that turned somehow for different reasons. But it's one of these things where I know I can speak for myself that I made really good changes in my life had it not been for my relationship with my ex. And that is what I thought of while listening to Jennifer sing this, and I have a feeling she's saying the same thing. But the suspense was killing me because initially you heard me saying, like, oh, where are we going? Who is this about? Is this a song about your mother? Is it about your parents? But then that one line, should we ever see meet again or something to that effect, it's like, oh, that's, that's reminiscent of a breakup and somebody has kept her wits about her and isn't out there trashing her her ex and that was my approach as well there's i'm gonna honor what i truly felt in the relationship i'm not gonna throw that out by be letting my anger or disillusionment or whatever take over and uh so if you're going through the same situation this is a um a countervailing wind, if you will, if you're just inclined to just be mad and frustrated and let all your confusion funnel down into just anger, then this song can be a, a partial antidote to that, to creating a better sense of balance. So, all right, Penny, of course, this is a Penny Headland song. This also could have been a Farm Daddy song, but or a Montauk Ed song. So. All right, the number that popped into my head immediately was a 9.0. I'm going with it. It was a beautiful sentiment about a sliver of life, and it really does set a good stage for anybody who hears it who might be going through or have gone through a breakup to be like, hey, let's dial this back a bit. You're going to be pissed at times but and fine, but if you can let a certain measure of thankfulness and gratitude creep in, it really does dissipate some of the anger and you're just better off for it, especially you can't force it. You want to be truly thankful. So you need identifiable thoughts uh, to have in your mind for which to be thankful that actually dissipates the anger, like something you truly believe that's good about the other person. So there it is. All right, Penny, thank you again, my dear. Have a great day, folks. See you in another video as we lead up to Thanksgiving and keep rocking the country.